All right, welcome to the Gas Can Tech Blog. This is our first video. Uh, today we're going to talk about top 10 ways to avoid NSA tracking and keeping your computer secure. All right, number 10, do not post on open threads on social networking sites. This includes Facebook, it includes Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, anything else. This happened to me once. Uh, I was interested in applying to a company. I wanted to research my boss, and so I looked him up on Facebook. Uh, he had put his uh, profile to private, but even though he did, he had mistakenly posted on some friends' public forums. And because they had a public thread, I was able to read everything he wrote. Some of it was inappropriate, and I decided not to apply for that position. Number nine, use long and difficult passwords. Believe it or not, the more numbers and letters you throw in there, the more difficult it is for people to crack. Make it long, make lots of different uh, kinds of uppercase, lowercase, and several numbers. Number eight, encrypt your hard drive. Actually, uh, Windows comes with a really great um, software package now. It's called BitLocker if you have Windows 8 or Windows 8.1. Um, if you're more of an open source fan, if you have Linux or Mac OS, or if you just want to use Windows but do an open source one, get TrueCrypt. Um, that's in my links at the bottom here. All right, and number seven is, in fact, use a secure operating system. I would say even avoid Windows altogether and go for something like Linux that has been tried, tested, and true to be more secure. Uh, my favorite flavor is Ubuntu. I also use Slackware. Um, the next thing is, believe it or not, use an antivirus software if you're going to stick with something like Windows. A lot of folks put um, harmful little things on your computer that can track you and uh, you don't know if other people can gain access to that like the NSA. If you're in a coffee shop for number five, I suggest using a VPN system. Um, that just privatizes things and makes it a little bit difficult for other people to snoop in on what you're doing. It's not necessarily going to stop the NSA, but it will definitely help out uh, keeping what you're doing private if you're doing company things in an open situation. Number four, Use HTTPS every time you go um, to websites and you know there's a really good add-on app to Firefox and Chrome um, that will try and force that every time. I suggest using HTTPS every time you go to Facebook, every time you go to Gmail, or every time you go to Google and uh, just simply instead of typing HTTP at the beginning of your website just add an S at the end there. Number three, don't use the cloud. I know it's a big buzzword right now. Everyone likes using it. Uh, the cloud is things like Google Drive and uh, Microsoft's new drive that's in the cloud. Uh, you know, several people are doing it, but uh, if the NSA petitions, they can get your private information. So probably best to keep your important um, Excel documents, your important Microsoft Word documents, on your actual computer under the BitLocker and not up in the cloud for uh, people to see. Number two, encrypt your email. If you have sensitive information, make sure you encrypt it. You can send an encryption key to your friends. Gmail makes it really easy. I've got a link below um, to show you how to do that. Also, something interesting to know about the NSA is that they will more likely track you if you are associating with people outside of the country. Canada, Mexico, Europe, that makes it a little more suspicious and gives them kind of the right to look into what you're doing. And of course, number one, most of you know the best way to avoid NSA tracking is to use the Tor client. Um, I've used Tor before. It's a little bit slow, unfortunately. Uh, so if you want to do quick things like um, torrenting or, or uh, Netflix, uh, you're not going to be lucky with Tor, but uh, you know, if you just want to go on and do something private like your banking or if you want to um, send an encrypted email to a friend, maybe Tor is the best way to do it. Well, what I do is I just get the Tor plugin for Chrome. Um, you know, also if you have Mac, if you're running OS 10, you can get a really great uh, Tor application that'll just run in the background. But again, it slows things down. If you have any more tips for me, please write them in the comments section. I'd love to hear back from you. And that's the first episode of Gas Can Technology Blog. Thank you for tuning in.